Hi, welcome to Love and Forever Evolving, where we are always and forever evolving. Hello, Geminis. What's up, Twinkies? What's good? We're going to do your love reading for the month of July. Okay, I'm back and I'm checking in with you, my Twinkies. We're going to see where your emotions, feelings, and thoughts are at in regards to love for the month of July. Okay, so first we're going to start out with the Moonology deck here to see where your emotions is in regards to the moon phases here. We're actually in a new phase with the Cancer and energy in the Cancer. Uh, the moon is actually in its home space, okay? It's in the sign of Count Siren, okay? So the moon is in a comfortable space right now, okay? So, and then we're going to uh, pull out the tarot deck here in regards to the moonology card to see where your emotions and feelings are in regards to your person, okay? <clears throat> all right, thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Universe. Protect my space and all for the channeling here. What messages do we have for Gemini's, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? And if you have a South or North node, the readings may resonate for you as well. Also, Cross Watchers, you are welcome as well, my love. Okay? So let's see, Gemini's, what we got for the month of July. What messages do we have in regards to love in this person, Spirit? All right. The answers you need are coming. Full moon in Gemini. Well, well, well. Well, look at there, my loves. Full moon in your energy, okay? I encourage you to go Google. <clears throat> Excuse me, my loves. Some of y'all need to speak up with your throat chakra, okay? We have the color blue here. We know blue in regards to spirit, okay? That color is in regards to transformation, working on your throat chakra with speaking, okay? Definitely because of the answers that you are seeking are coming, okay? States here again, full moon in Gemini. I encourage you to look up Google messages to see in regards to the full moon in Gemini that you may receive at this time, my love. This is very, this is your energy all right here. Look at the synchronicities here, okay? What's a needle in a haystack to pull the full moon um, energy in Gemini, okay, for the Moonology card. So this is definitely, um, definitely strong energy here in referencing what you need to be guided to within your own characteristics and personality traits, right? So definitely go Google and look up the meaning in regards to the full moon and how it affects in the energies of Gemini and your own energy, my loves. Or this is a time definitely to take back and reflect on your life, okay? Reflect on what has caused and went around in your life. Okay, Geminis, I feel like because the answers that you're seeking, I feel like you you know and knowing what your intuition is calling you to do, I'm hearing, okay, um, or you are needing to do during this time, okay, some of you all are just, you know, again, searching for answers, you know, um, you know, and that could be through your spiritual growth, okay, through your journey where you're at now and what you came out of, okay, so the answers that you need, Spirit is wanting you to know, Geminis, are coming, okay, I like it. All right, so now we're going to pull out the tarot cards for my loves, and we're going to see how the card here referencing to the answers you need are coming. Okay, so what messages in regards to the month of July for my sexy-ass Geminis, okay? Again, if you're welcome, again, you are welcome, 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 okay? I always um, get comments there saying thank you, you know, just giving you the enlightenment. I don't mind, okay? You all give me enlightenment as well, okay? So, thank you again for your love and support, Gemini's, okay? So, let's get on into it. Let's see what answers, my loves, are you seeking for? What messages here Spirit can give you in regards to this situation, this relationship, and this person here? Okay, so we had the two of Pentacles wanted to jump on out here quickly, okay? This is Earth Energy, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo, okay? Some of y'all could have energies around an earth sign okay or someone in the energy of definitely trying to um balance things out okay and we know the pinnacles is in regards to your finances for some of you all 
okay, within your household, things that are tangible to you, okay, things of that sort, your affairs and things that needed to be balanced within yourself, your household, and just externally around you for your well-being here with the pentacles, right? Um, so I feel like that's where you're in the state of making a decision here, which is it was why I feel like, you know, waiting for the answers to come and needing and waiting for the answers or, you know, waiting and some of you all are just simply following your intuition and that's great. My love's okay, so keep doing that, Gemini's, but definitely trying to make things in balance with yourself, making your finances balanced, right? Making your wealth and your, you know, what it is that you do on a daily routine within your career space, okay? Trying to balance things out here with the two of pentacles, I feel, in the month of July. I like it, Gemini's. All right. So definitely making a decision in regards to, you know, your finances and how you want things arranged for you. I'm hearing, okay. Yes, that's very good, okay? I like it. All right, what are the messages we have in regards to love, spirit? What are the messages here for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Ooh, the King of Wands. Wow, this is Leo energy, okay? Some of you all could have a relationship here or a partnership with a Leo, okay? This is definitely in regards to taking action, making a plan. Wow, so I definitely feel like you all are definitely, um, some of you all are making a plan in regards to a relationship, okay? Or this Leo fire sign here. And again, we have Earth energy, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo, Gemini's, that's in the process of definitely um, getting things in alignment, okay? Because when you have the two of pentacles here, you know, really trying to pay attention to details and what's going to work out financially for this particular person, okay? Or are you, Gemini, okay? And coming up with a plan here, okay? And knowing that whatever plan we know the king of wands make, it's going to be definitely something that's going to be for the long run. This is a it's an action that's going to be taken. It's going to be a smart move. It's just not going to be any type of move, right? Okay. So let's see. Let's get some further details here. I like it, Spirit. You know I like things that come in threes. Let me get one more card for your future energy here for the month of July, Gemini's. And my love, if it's resonating so far, don't forget to like, subscribe. If you're new here again, welcome. It's a pleasure, okay? And hit that notification bell, my love, so that way you can be notified for when your reading comes out, okay? All right, ooh, all right, we got a jumper here. Wow, we have the Eight of Wands, more fire energy, Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries here, okay? But again, this is more fire energy. Your person could have heavy placements of fire elements in their chart, or you, Gemini's, can have high placements of fire energy in your chart as well, okay? But we know the Eight of Wands here is non-stoppable communication, non-stoppable movement with the Wands, okay? This is information in regards to things that you go towards creating, things that are, you know, good passion, desire, and things in regards to simply a plan, a relationship, a partnership, okay? I'm hearing a companionship as well, okay? Well, fuck it up then, Gemini's, okay? So, this is a definitely nice, good setup here because as I read my readings, right, I focus here within three cards, and I focus within your past, your present, current energy here, and your future, and I like the setup here, Gemini. I must say, this is a nice alignment here, okay? Um, definitely, you know, here in your past, getting things together and balanced within your finances here in the 3D realm, and things, you know, being moved around accordingly, I'm hearing, okay? And then coming up with a plan here, currently in the future, to take action, and I feel like whatever this plan is, whether this is you you or this person and making an action, making a plan to come together in a union or whatever this is, even if it's in regards to uh, career wise or starting a new business venture, you're getting everything in alignment and coming up with a plan to take action here 
for the near future here, which is again the Eight of Wands. And whatever this plan and whatever this action or movement, okay, thank you, Spirit, it's going to have non stoppable movement, non stoppable communication, non stoppable. Um, this is like revenue, um, something that you know, as you can see, how it's going in tornado here, like all these wands, okay, um, all these creative ideal, all these things that's going to give you opportunities here with communication and things that's just going to be a consistent here. So, rather, this is consistent in regards to a communication with a partnership, union coming together, Gemini's, or in regards to um, tangible things here, something that you have created for yourself, a project, things that's going to bring you um, tangible things towards your way as a stream of income for some of you all, Gemini's, okay? But whatever it is, I like it. Now, we do are showing the Four of Cups here at the bottom of the deck. Now, we know this is water energy here, Count Syrian, Pisces, Scorpio, okay? So, I do see that there are some emotions, feelings here, okay, in regards to, and that's maybe why those are the answers, you know, with the face expression here, Gemini's, that some of you all may be in search of, I'm hearing, or seeking. Thank you, Spirit, and or vice versa, this person, okay? So, let's get some clarification here for your cards here. We're going to start with the energy here in regards to, again, the Two of Pentacles here. Thank you, Spirit. Why do we have the Two of Pentacles here for Gemini? Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus, South and North Node. Spirit, why do we have the Two of Pentacles here, Spirit? Wow. And the card came back out, my love. The Two of Cups. Okay. The Two of Cups. Hold on, Spirit. Now, we have the Four of Cups here, Gemini's. Let's back it up a little bit, okay? So, the Two of Cups wanted to be channeled out as well behind it. So, this tell me this is in regards to a soulmate. This is in regards to a person that you love, okay? You two are uh, very intuitive, okay? This is more of a spiritual connection, okay? And for some of you all, you are aware of this, okay? You may have been... Um, informed spirit is saying thank you so following your intuition again gemini you're informed of this energy here i feel for some of you all that's offering this cup but because you have had in your past maybe disappointments or regrets or felt um a part of being detached or you know disappointed from these energies that you pour your love and your heart into because these are empty cups but not knowing of what here is in your future. This is youth energy. This is in the future. And I feel like some of you all are just still, you know, um, in your emotions, okay, in regards to things, people, in relationships that however did not work out, okay? And that's why I feel like what it was trying to be balanced here, okay? And for some of you all, when you are emotionally off balance, when the way how you're feeling internally, okay, is off balance, it can cause you to trying to you know meaning your finances things that are tangible to you around you can cause to be off balance thank you spirit and i can definitely witness of that i've been there done that got the situation when you know that <clears throat> the way how you're feeling emotionally or internally okay it can cause things in other areas <clears throat> yeah and some y'all really need to speak up okay Express yourself. Express how you feel, okay? But however, because um, I feel like a lot of you are keeping that to yourself here, okay? Avoiding the emotions or avoiding feeling the way you feel about these particular situations here or the ones that you did pour your love or water in these cups to, right? Um, so, as Spirit said, this can sometimes throw everything else around you. Your routine and things off balance when you're emotionally off balance, okay? And so I feel like some of y'all are needing to sit with that, okay? Because you don't want to allow this to go in your future. Because I definitely feel like there's someone um, coming in here um, that you're not aware of or that has been trying to offer you. Rather, who it is or what being it is. It's just simply the universe trying to offer you a cup of love here. But I feel like you are Gemini's or this particular person, again, this fire sign again could be leo here um that are again water sign that are turning away from okay 
All right, thank you, Spirit. Well, let's get some more clarification here. Let's see why do we have the King of Wands here. What is the action that's going to be taken? What is the master plan here, Geminis? Okay, what's the master plan? You tell me. Okay, hit that like button. Show Spirit some support because we're going to find death. Okay. Wow. We have the Knight of Swords here. Air energy coming out here. This is Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. Okay, this is your energy. Okay. Um, but however, I feel like whatever this plan is, um, that and for some of y'all, you may just simply get this epiphany or this... Um, you know, from watching or reviewing over some notes or listening to a video or reading, whatever it is that you come across, okay? Because we know the Knight of Swords energy, that's real fast, quick movement, okay? Of going towards whatever their ideal with being logical here with the air energy, with communication, okay? So whatever this news or this information, I feel like uh, vice versa, you, Gemini, or uh, your person, okay, when in regards to taking action here, is going to allow this quick movement. Because just look how this movement here with both motions in these two cards here, okay? Do you see? It just, it's mostly just fast movement here. It's like she can barely even keep up with her wands, Gemini, okay? So I feel like whatever this is, making sure that you are grounded, okay? Making sure that you emotionally. Um, allow yourself to come back in balance. Make sure everything else is around you are balanced emotionally, okay? And make sure you sit with it and heal whatever emotions in the way you feel and let it out. Find ways to release whatever it is that you're needing to still release, Geminis, okay? Because whatever this idea, whatever this passion, rather, again, if this is a relationship or with this particular person, and you definitely don't want to be sitting back still in this energy from people, places, and situations from your past before, because again, you have someone that wants to offer you a new cup and for some of y'all a new cup of love okay or offer or a love offer here okay and i feel like some of y'all are just avoiding it um not even trying to look that way simply because you're still trying to i'm hearing some of y'all may still be feeling you know lost or you know just not understanding what happened and transpired between the ones that are still sitting here empty in front of you my loves you gotta sit with that okay been there then they got the t-shirt because this will haunt you if you don't, okay? Express whatever needs to be expressed. Again, because my throat chakra kept acting at the beginning of your reading. Speak whatever you need to speak off your chest. Because it will just bottle up and it will start affecting you mentally and physically, okay? So express whatever you need to get said off your chest, okay? Because it will cause other things, again, around you in your life to become off balance, okay? And then having to juggle and then cause yourself from that struggling because you're emotionally imbalanced or unbalanced here okay because whatever this is once you come into you know i'm hearing the knowing or the understanding okay of what transpired or which makes sense again because i feel like while some of you all are not moving gemini's it's because you're simply waiting for the answers whatever this is rather this is a relationship that you have manifested a job okay or a new career here i'm hearing or even simply if it's a new project a new business venture that you're starting up here and you're needing the answers and waiting on the confirmations here okay but it is in regards of to your emotions and how you feel okay because whatever it is it's going to cause things to i feel like definitely pick up okay and get moving for you gemini's it's just a matter of time here i feel because of needing to you know really recognize and reflect on what needs to be reflect on again if this is not you gemini's this is vice versa the person because the roles could be reversed but i definitely feel more of this being your energy my love simply because of look this is just past energy here okay as i said we all been there done that got the t-shirt okay because I definitely feel you have a love offer coming in here soon in the month of July. Definitely going into the month of August there, okay, for some of you all. All right, thank you, Steve. Why do we have the Eight of Wands here? Why is the Eight of Wands here? Why is the Eight of Wands here for Gemini? Why do we have the Eight of Wands, Spirit? All right, we have the Three of Wands, more fire energy. Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries, okay? But this is the energy we know. The ones is all represent self, okay? Meaning your journey where you are on 
on your path in your spiritual journey okay going alone on this path and some of you are are now currently alone or recently or you're currently single okay because this is a lot of wands fire energy doing in you know manifesting sacrificing um you know discipline yourself setting your mindset here okay getting all the inspirations and the logic and the knowing okay and you or waiting and why he has his wand here because he's manifesting this down in the water okay he's speaking it out okay because he's just waiting on everything that he has put his creative thought dreams emotions feelings towards okay and he's waiting and again which makes sense because these are two waiting energies here you have the answers you need are coming okay because whatever this is you know gemini is what it is okay because you manifested here and whatever it is again don't worry because whatever this is for you rather this is a new relationship a new job a career a new business adventure a project and with a new partnership okay whatever it is okay once it comes in it's going to be definitely non-stoppable movement okay it's going to be quick okay for some of y'all because i mentioned here it's going to be some of you all may be very unexpectedly or it could happen overnight who knows okay gemini's but when you have the knight of swords energy coming in this is in regards to news okay so someone could be younger than you or an aquarius gemini libra bringing you this news okay because again is something that's needing to be having to take action for and have a plan here okay so be mindful of that but i don't feel like it's any negative or you know energy that's not wanted of i definitely feel like it's a good opportunity um something positive so whatever the answers or the information that you do receive it will again get the ball rolling for you okay well fuck it up yes spirit all right my loves well that has completed your reading for the month of july i again hope the reading resonated with who it needed to resonate with good luck when you do receive what it is that you are going within to seek for and allow it to balance you out regardless of what the answers you are seeking for okay allow yourself to be balanced spiritually emotionally and mentally okay my loves i love you gemini's and until we meet again remember my loves your health is your wealth i'll talk to you soon jimmy's Mm-hmm. Bye-bye.